In this video, I'm gonna be demoing the Dryo board editor. This is a powerful tool for agile teams making brainstorming sessions, retrospectives, and idea organization seamless and efficient. I'm Eric with Dryo, let's get to it. All right, so for this demo, I'm gonna be using our board editor to prepare for a collaborative brainstorming session about a new product launch. To add a Dryo board to your Confluence page, you have a couple of options. You can click the plus icon in the toolbar and type Dryo or on your Confluence page, use the macro command forward slash and type draw IO, then select the draw your board from the options. If you're using data center, you would type the curly bracket instead of the forward slash to access the draw your macro. This will open the board editor where you can start to work your magic. Let's start by taking a quick look at the interface. On the left side, you'll find the basic panel menu with tools for text, shapes, connectors, and freehand drawing. There's also an insert button for adding various elements to your board layout, such as the expanded library, templates, and tables. On the right side, the format panel allows you to customize the appearance of your shapes and connectors. You can adjust settings like colors, line weights, and text formatting. The panel is dynamic and will change based on your selection. If nothing is selected, the options shown will be general ones for formatting the canvas. At the top left, you have the main toolbar with the options to trash, undo, and redo. Clicking on the hamburger menu reveals additional options. On the top right side, you'll find the options to publish or close your board, as well as the name of your board. All right, let's start by adding our main topic to our brainstorm session. I'm gonna do this by first adding a shape, and we can do this a couple of ways, actually. We can drag over the shape, or we can just click on the shape. Alternatively, we can use the shortcut key to add a shape. I'm gonna hit F to add the ellipse shape and type new product launch. This is where we'll start to build out our ideas. Next, I'm going to create the key brainstorming categories around this central topic. Now to make sure that our diagram is organized and that the relationship between the ideas are clear, we need to connect these shapes to our central topic, and this can be done through the use of connectors. I'm gonna be adding some additional shapes for market research, product features, market strategy, and launch timeline. And the best way to do this is to hover over the edge of the shape until you see the blue arrow, and then click on the shape that you would like to add to your diagram. To make our brainstorming sessions visually appealing and clear, we can customize the shapes and connectors. Let's use the style tab to color our shapes and change the line weight of the connectors. For instance, I'll make the market research blue, the product features green, the uh, market strategy yellow, and the launch timeline red. We can also add more details to each category. For example, under product features, I'll add subtasks for user interface, core functionality, and additional features. We can also format the text within these shapes by using the text tab. Double click on a shape to access extended text options, allowing for multiple text colors within the same shape. Now it's looking pretty good. Let's add a bit of creativity with the freehand tool. I'll quickly draw some arrows and notes to our marketing strategy to highlight important points. It looks like our brainstorming session is set. So I'll hit publish and I'll save the board directly to the Confluence page and make it ready for the team to start brainstorming in real time. Everything is saved securely in Confluence. Our tool also supports real-time collaboration, so when you start your brainstorming session, you'll see their changes appear instantly, making teamwork seamless. And that's it. You've now seen how to create and customize a brainstorming session using a Dryo's board editor. From adding ideas to connecting them to customizing the look and collaborating in real time. And remember, if you haven't yet tried Dryo, you can download it for free for 30 days. Just head over to the Atlassian Marketplace. Until next time, stay connected.